Turning now to your community focus, it's hard to believe, but the holiday shopping season is already here, and there are plenty of Rhode Island businesses hoping you shop local this year. And joining us in studio to talk about that and the upcoming Army-Navy game here in southern New England is Kristen Adamo, the president and CEO of the Providence Warwick Convention and Visitors Bureau. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So um, this morning, you officially kicked off the Buy Local RI campaign. Tell us about that and kind of what spurred it. Sure. So we've been working for years with the Rhode Island Foundation to support local businesses through Buy Local RI. Uh, and we have about 100 ways that you can support Rhode Island's biz local businesses, large and small, on buylocalri.com. Uh, we're working with Dave's Supermarkets, a great example of a local business. There's jewelry shops and places to get local beers, things like that. So it's a really great way to plan your holiday season in a way that gives back to your friends and neighbors who own small businesses. And you mentioned uh, 100 different ways to support local businesses. You compiled a list of ways to do that part of the campaign, and it kind of uh, breaks it down really uh, throughout the entire state. Yeah, we uh, really wanted this to be a statewide effort, as did the foundation. So we asked our, our fellow tourism professionals across the state, what are the cool things for people to do in the winter and even Block Island came up with some uh, things to do out there so it's really a holistic look and you you know Rhode Islanders you can it can be a vacation you can drive all the way from Woonsocket to Newport and maybe even stay over who knows plenty of things to check out I definitely yeah. want to check out that list and you guys of course are not only busy uh, with the holiday season but also getting ready for the Army Navy game it's just a few weeks away now what has that preparation been like for you so it's been about a year's worth of preparation we have um, the Rhode Island Convention Center has about 750 uh, naval midshipmen that will be staying in the center and there's an additional I think 1500 or so that will be out in the community uh, so we're doing everything from coordinating volunteers to giving out information at airports the train station uh, we're doing a water fire on that Friday night before the game WWE is doing an event at the dunk so it's really this whole kind of weekend of things and it's such an honor to be able to support Support our service men and women and honor our veterans so we're very excited this is not like anything we've ever done before and it's a big opportunity not only for the weekend of the game but leading up to it too especially for local businesses really it is Gillette Stadium is has been wonderful and the craft group and they've really been promoting Providence Commerce RI has done a tremendous advertising campaign all over for Army Navy I think they even did some things at some of the games so really what we're trying to do is use this as sort of an introduction for people who may have never been to Rhode Island or Providence before. Come in, see the city, go to the game, and maybe you'll come back. And uh, we're just about out of time here, but you also have a, a holiday lights event coming up. Tell us a little yeah, bit about that. Yeah, three nights of lights, December 1st through the 3rd in Providence. Ice sculptures, markets, water fire, tree lightings, and it's all free. So I hope people will check out threenightsoflights.com. Plenty to uh, get us into the holiday spirit. Yeah. That's about all the time we have. Kristen Adamo with the Providence Warwick Convention and Visitors Bureau. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.